Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we've got three example blues licks, and with each one, there's an example blues study you can play. And to get started, we've got our first phrase that sounds like this. Now you can hear phrases like this all over the place. It's even the foundation of certain tunes like Sandu. The phrase is built from what's commonly called the major blues scale. Now the major blues scale is a little bit different to the minor blues scale or sometimes referred to as just the blues scale. The major blues scale is built by taking the first, second, third, fifth and sixth notes from your major scale, which is also known as a major pentatonic. And to turn it into that blues scale, we add in the flattened third. So looking back at our phrase, you can now add in those numbers underneath each of the notes. And this is what really helps you understand what's going on with this phrase. Because it's these scale degree numbers that are responsible for creating the sound of the phrase. And being aware of the scale degrees behind the phrases you're playing really helps open up your ears. And it'll allow you to pick out melodies by ear a lot more easily. Now coming up in this study, we're going over a 12 bar blues in the key of G for altos and C for tenors. And I'm going to be using that example phrase as much as I can as a basis for my solo. You'll see how I've taken parts of that phrase and moved it into different keys as well to suit the chords I'm on. Now you can get the free PDF for this study and all the other studies in today's lesson and that's available at Online Sax Academy and the link is down below. Alright so here's this major blue scales study. Okay, next up we've got our second blues phrase and that sounds like this. Now you can hear this phrase sounds a lot bluesier, a lot darker, and that's because it's made up with what's called the minor blues scale. And you'll see why it's darker by the way the scale is built. So the minor blues scale is built by using the first, flattened third, fourth, flattened fifth, fifth and flattened seventh. And it's because of those scale degrees like the flat three, the flat five, and the flat seven that gives it its darker, bluesier sound. Now, if you'd like to learn your major and minor blue scales in all 12 keys, then I've got a link to that video down below in the description. Okay, so here's this example blues study, but now we're gonna be using this minor blues scale phrase. Now, we're still playing a 12 bar blues in the key of G for altos and C for tenors, but you'll hear how it sounds much darker, much bluesier because we're using this scale instead. Now, if you're interested in learning how to improvise solos like these, then over at Online Sax Academy, I have a Learn to Improvise course, which steps you through right from the very beginning. If you become a premium member of the site, you'll have access to all the courses on the courses page, along with all the premium content that's in the YouTube library. And for today's lesson, premium members can get all of these solos and example phrases written in all 12 keys as well. All right, for this final lick, what we're now doing is combining the sounds from the minor blues scale and from the major blues scale. And this is where the nuances of the blues and learning language is so important because there isn't one set scale that applies to this. What you can do though is pick and choose either the darker minor blues notes from the minor blues scale or the lighter brighter notes, notes like the sixth or the second have a very different feel than say the flat third or the flat five from the minor blues scale. But because there's so many more possible choices, it's very easy to get yourself muddled up. And this is where learning example phrases is so important because this will really help you with your phrasing and your ears for using these different sounds. So here's this example mixed blues scale phrase. All right, so here's this example blues study using this mixed blues scale approach.
Okay, don't forget to grab the free PDF for all three licks and all three example studies. And when you're over on the site, do check out everything else we have on offer. So if you'd like to get started learning how to improvise in a really clear step-by-step -step way that goes from the very beginning, you can check out the Learn to Improvise course. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future lessons and I'll see you guys next week.